Today I'm here in Hull for a very special makeover. We're grooming the groom with a star housemate. Hello, sir. <laughs> Thank Hello. you for joining us on the show. That's not a problem. Super to see you. Dan from Big Brother 5. Hello. Thank you for inviting us. Now, today, we're here to groom the groom, which I think is a service you offer. What, what is it all about? Tell me. Well, obviously, we've got a wedding, need a groom, and uh, we've got two guys here who are <coughs> Kevin and Pete, and I want to do um, two key looks. So I've gone for designer versus high street. Obviously, it's fantastic to get an expert in to get the star right. But if you're on a budget, what would you recommend? Um, like I said earlier, keeping it simple. But you know, most salons with a, with a creative stylist in there anyway um, are not going to charge you the earth. For I mean, you know, people think just because I've I've done a bit of telly that to get the hair done with me is going to be hundreds of pounds, and it's not. You know, our gents' cuts start at 15, ladies' cuts start at 35. And it's just, it's a, a, making it accessible to the people on the high street. And I, do, I don't believe in, in charging stupid prices. So, obviously, Big Brother, a massive, massive part of your life. You know, it must have been crazy when, when you first came out of the house. Yes. It's difficult to kind of comprehend, but say, for instance, if you're in a pretty big band like you two or, you know, Robbie Williams, for instance, is a very recognisable face, but only really specifically people who were fans of, of those people would recognise them in the street. But everybody from grandmas to mothers to little kids to teenagers, everybody watches Big Brother. And when you came from a successful series like we had, um, it's, you are recognised everywhere and it takes some getting used to, but I've been able to use it, like I said earlier, to achieve things that I want to achieve. Well, the hair is nearly completed. Now it's time for the guys to nip to the changing room and complete the look. We've done the cuts, we've got the guys suited and booted, and here they are. Gorgeous. Dan, we know that one is designer and one is high street. OK, you both look fantastic, but perhaps talk us through the looks. This is Versace. As a designer, I find Versace quite flamboyant with his, with his tailoring. And I wanted to keep it casual as well. This is M&S. This is from their autograph range. If you look at this detailing on the inside, it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Dan, thank you so much for today. If nothing else, I've learned masses from you. <laughs> um, I'd love to know what is your ultimate top tip for getting it right? Um, that's got to be keep it simple. Because with simple and elegant lines, then you, you can't go wrong. Same with haircuts, same with tailoring. Keep it simple. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Good luck with the rest of your styling, and I hope we see you again soon. Thank you.